Okay, Mr. Coyne here from Coyle Maths. Let's look at the Advanced Higher Maths Exam 2022. Jumping in with calculus. So, all this stuff's still in. Differentiating exponential and natural logs. Functions using the chain rule. Differentiating functions for a product or a quotient. That is all still in. Let's look at the next slide though. Once we get to the next slide, we get to finding the derivative where relationships are defined implicitly. The second point there, using differentiation... To find the second derivative of a relation to find implicitly that is out. And the third point, using logarithmic differentiation, recognising when it is appropriate in extended products, quotients and in functions, logarithmic differentiation, that is gone. Uh, we have got finding the derivative where the relationships are parametric, parametric differentiation, essentially, we're talking about here. The second point, applying parametric differentiation to motion in a plane, and instantaneous speed that is gone and the third point using differentiation to find the second derivative of relationship defined parametrically that is also gone okay let's look at the next point here applying differentiation to problems in context no optimization this year okay so on this one integrating expressions using standard results the only thing there is we're not going to be doing that with partial fractions this year to integrate proper and improper rational functions okay so no partial fractions to integrate and let's look at our next slide. Everything else on this slide is fine. Our next slide. So we're on to solving first order differential equations with variables separate. That is out. So finding general and particular solutions to equations in that way is out. Everything else in here is fine. So solving first order linear differential equations using integrating factors is fine. Solving second order differential equations is also fine. Algebra proof and number theory. Quite a big one, this one. So, decomposing a rational function as sum of partial fractions, that is still in. But finding asymptotes to graphs, well, that's been out for a while now, that is gone. So, anything to do with vertical or non vertical asymptotes is gone. And on our next slide, all this stuff has already been out. Sketching graphs and sketching graphs of functions is not in the course this year. Moving on to expanding expressions with the binomial theorem. This is quite a big one. You will not have to use the general term in it for a binomial expansion to find a specific term in an expression. That point is gone. If you look at the second and third big bullet point, determining the sum to infinity of a geometric series is gone. Determining the condition for a geometric series could converge, known when it converges, that is also gone. The summation formula, that is gone completely. So knowing and using sums of certain series is gone. The Maclaurin expansion is fine though. So that is still in the Maclaurin series. Okay, moving on to our proof. So you won't have to use the symbols their existence for all. That is gone. And you won't also have to negate a statement. That is also out this year. Looking to our next point, using indirect and direct proof in straightforward examples. You will not have to prove a statement by contradiction, that is out. You will not have to use proof for by contra contrapositive proofs. However, the third point is still in, using direct proof in straightforward examples. Proof by induction is still fined. Let's move on to Euclid's algorithm to find the greatest common divisor. The first point's fine, you'll still have to find the greatest common divisor of two positive integers. Uh, the second point is fine, expressing the greatest common divisor as a linear combination of the two. However, the third and fourth point are out. You won't have to express anything in bases other than 10, and you won't have to know the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, or use it. Okay, matrices, vectors, and complex numbers quite a lot out of this this year. Starting off with matrices, Gaussian elimination to solve a system of 3 by 3 linear equations. So the first point is fine, find a solution to a system of equations ax equals b, where a is a 3 by 3 matrix, use an augmenting matrix and solve it in the normal way, that is fine. But you will not have to show that a system of equations has no solutions, in other words, they're inconsistent, that is out. You will not have to do anything to do with redundancy, that is out. And you will not have to compare the solutions of related systems to find two unknowns and recognise ill-conditioning. You won't have to state anything to do with ill-conditioned. So the only thing I'll have to do is solve a 3x3 three three system of equations with Gaussian elimination. 
Huey. Matrix algebra, a huge one here using matrix algebra, quite a tricky topic. A lot of this stuff is completely gone. In fact, the only thing I can see here at the top point, performing matrix operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication by a scalar and multiplication matrices is in. Knowing applying the properties of matrix addition and multiplication, algebraically, commutativity, associativity, all that stuff is out. So all this, all these little bullet points are gone. Knowing and applying the key properties of the transpose, the identity matrix, the inverse, doing that algebraically with transpose identity, all the little bullet points and the little things you would have to use are gone. So matrix algebra in general is gone, apart from simple addition, subtraction, multiplication by a scalar and multiplication of matrices, which are usually done with the actual matrices themselves. Okay, moving on. Calculating the determinant of a matrix, that is still in, so you can still be told to calculate the determinant of a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix. Remember, you can use the vector product at the start of the exam paper to help you with a 3x3 three three matrix. Determining whether a matrix is singular is still fine, but the last thing, knowing that the determinant of A and B is the determinant of A times the determinant of B, that is out. Finding the inverse of a matrix is also out completely. Don't have to do any inverses and you don't have to do any transformation matrices at all as well. That is all gone. So most of matrices is actually out. Vectors was not put vectors this year at all, so let's just cross that out and move on. Okay, complex numbers. Finding the square root is the one thing on the top that is out. Oh yes, and you won't have to solve equations using complex numbers. You won't have to do anything on an argand diagram. You won't have to know the definition of the modulus or argument of a complex number. You won't have to convert a complex number to Cartesian form. But you do have to know De Moivre's theorem with integer and fractional indices. And you do know how you have to apply De Moivre's theorem. However, you won't have to apply De Moivre's theorem with the roots, nth roots of a complex number and you won't have to interpret geometrically certain equations or inequalities in the complex plane by sketching and describing a straight line or a circle that represents the locus of points. Okay, so that's all gone. Summary. What is still in the course then? Well, Advanced Higher Mathematics course summary. So, binomial theorem and partial fractions. You've got your normal binomial theorem here, your partial fraction stuff. Uh, matrices. Gaussian elimination. Matrix algebra. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication by a scalar, and determinants. That's it for matrices. Sequences and series. We've got arithmetic and geometric sequences and series, and Maclaurin series. And there's your standard Maclaurin series there, and a little example for you. Okay, complex numbers. Know what a complex number is, and the subtraction and multiplication. Complex conjugate, division of complex numbers, fundamental theorem of algebra, not arithmetic, algebra. And the Moivre's theorem you'll need to use in this way. Okay, methods of proof. You can disprove a statement by giving a counterexample, proof by induction, and direct proofs. That is it. Differentiation. Your standard product rule, quotient rule, chain rule. Trigonometric def definitions, standard derivatives, implicit differentiation, parametric differentiation, integration. We've got standard integrals, integration by substitution. There's an example there for you if you want to read through it. Areas, volumes of solids of revolution, integration by parts. Differential equations. Linear differential equations and second order homogeneous linear differential equations. This has been Claire in Maths. I hope you found this summary of advanced high of what's in the exams useful. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.